Lil Yachty can't rap. He don't consider himself a rapper, though. I never said and he, he can rap. Niggas in the comments like, why you taking up for Lil Yachty? He can't rap. I never said he could rap. I never said he had bars. I never said he was one of the best spitters. I said the little nigga confused. Yo, these niggas be saying they're not rappers, yo. What the fuck did you go on the motherfucker XXL new school shit? Why? It's for rappers. What was you on it for there? But now all of a sudden, when niggas start hearing your shit and knowing you garbage, now all of a sudden you want to claim, oh, I'm not a rapper. That's why I walk with a different walk, fuck with a different heart, talk with a different heart. What the fuck you sending me a link of fucking the guy from Transformers rapping for? Because, yo, if this motherfucker could do it, if Andy was spitting, Andy shitted on Drake and other niggas. He shitted on Lil Yachty on that. Yeah, I don't fuck with no boat or something, something. Yeah. Andy shitted on Drake on that bitch. Yeah, so, facts, yeah. facts. But with that all being said, Yo, if this nigga could spit like that, yo, I, I, I gotta hold these other niggas accountable, yo. You gotta be held accountable, yo. There's no passes. There's no because they're young or whatever. It's a new shit. You held accountable, yo. Fuck that, yo. Yo, listen. Oh, yo, get the fuck out the lane. You, you wanna know what you mad at, yo? Mm. What am I mad at, nigga? Yo, you mad at the fact that the mainstream respects music that's more than just lyrics now. No, no, that's not what I'm mad at. Yes, yes, that's exactly that's not what I'm mad at. at. Yo, rap, rap to me, I was just thinking of, I was, I was just thinking this earlier, yo. It's so fucking boring to me now, yo. What? It's boring to me, yo. Rap? It's nothing that's like, no, no, yeah, no. yo. No, I gotta go search for it more. It just, it just, it, it makes you work harder to find good music because it's not, at one point in time it was like given to you if you want some good shit you gotta go search for that shit for yourself where where do you find the bullshit Main, on the mainstream what, give me an example of, of mainstream radio video radio video what the fuck is he talking about that's as mainstream as I can get yo what the fuck First of all, you ain't listening to the radio. Who listens to I the radio? I do listen to the radio. I do listen to the radio. For real? Yeah. Yeah, I don't listen to the radio because I don't like what they play. Right, right. If I now, listen, I listen to the radio, to, I'm yo, listening to XM. I'm not listening to no local radio station that's playing, you okay. know, the top 20 or whatever. You, you mad at Lil Yachty? He ain't did nothing but made some music. Well, get the fuck out the lane. Don't call you. You not a don't don't be in that rap lane because he don't consider himself. Lil Yachty has come yeah. out and said he he's not a rapper. We well, need to get the fuck out the lane, yo. <laughs> what the fuck? What lane, yo? We need that separation, yo. You need a separation from hip hop and mumble rap. All right, what <clears throat> we need that. He, he don't create that. That's what we're here to do. All right, then. Lil Yachty can't rap. He don't consider himself a rapper, though. I never said he, he can did. rap. Niggas in the comments like, why you taking up for Lil Yachty? He can't rap. I never said he could rap. I never said he had bars. I never said he was one of the best spitters. I said the little nigga confused. How the fuck you gonna say Biggie overrated? But one of your dopest songs of the year was mason 97. If it wasn't for right. biggie it wouldn't be no fucking mace right you get what i'm saying so the little nigga confused man everybody want to jump on little yardy say biggie overrated so fucking white yo so what what have we seen so much disrespect yo that's the that's another thing yo they nigga, nigga be calling niggas old and shit like yo you never seen no disrespect like that in the game until now, yo. Am I right or wrong? I, I don't think it, it was there. Yo, you never heard Woo, you never heard Woo called Run DMC, old ass niggas, or motherfucking, uh, you, you, you never heard no shit like that, yo. When, that, when the fucking respect me lost, yo.
I mean, I think that generation gap puts it there. You gotta look yeah. at like Run DMC is one of the creators of hip hop, especially right. mainstream hip hop. Right. So, but you never heard woo, nobody woo woo, woo Jay Z Nas. Nobody never like said fuck these niggas. These niggas old. You know they need to stop rapping. Never these heard these niggas that be getting now. attacked though. You know the, huh? niggas be coming at them, saying they can't spit all that shit. Who? Just like when Pete Rock, when Pete Come Rock came at, I think it was Young Dolph, when he came at him. I believe it was Pete Rock, but when he came at him. Young Dolph ain't say nothing about Pete Rock. That's what these niggas need, yo. They need that, yo. You need that nigga. You need that nigga to tell you, yo. yo. So just you, you, you need to get this shit together, do like this, yo. Put you on the right path instead of the bullshit you going down and shit. Yeah. Niggas need shit like that. So when niggas get shit like that, niggas want to motherfucking. Uh, Talk about, you know, talk about, oh, this nigga, this, this, that. It leads to some other shit. Just like T.I. shit, saying the shit to Wayne and shit like that. Niggas need shit like that. But now it's a thing of, oh, he should have contacted him through uh, uh, text messages or called him. That's the big thing. Now, T.I. the bad guy for that shit. Oh, niggas be on some bullshit nowadays, you know? These, this, this new era niggas, bullshit, you I've never seen so much disrespect in rap, yo. You don't disrespect the motherfuckers, yo. And they better than you. You wasn't better than the motherfucking the whack niggas that was out during the period of the niggas you shitting on. You not better than them whack niggas. Better at what, though? The art of rap. He don't want to be a rapper. Well, when they ask him questions like that, he need to say, well, first off, I'm not a rapper. I'm not in the same lane as what you asked me a question about. In the in the thing, he wouldn't have no problems right now. We wouldn't be talking about yo talking about Biggie and shit like that. Nobody would did a video on that shit. It'd have been the end. Yo, clarify the shit. You talking about a 19 year old kid? You put him some cameras in front of him and a reporter, and they playing a game, overrated or underrated. He right. had to pick right. one. Right. He said, he said overrated. Yeah, first off, first off, who asked him that question? They was setting him up. They, they set him up. They baited him out to, to say that shit. Because they so knew that we could be talking about it and everybody else could be talking about it. They knew he was going to say some dumb shit because if they didn't already say Pac, they would have asked him about Pac. They probably would have asked a nigga about Big Daddy Kane just so he'd have been like, Big Daddy who? After that, the headlines would have been like, Lil Yachty doesn't know who Big Daddy Kane is. Like, And you know what? You know what? Well, you say he considers himself not a rapper. Is what he's doing is rapping. So you're gonna be in that is 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 it's a form of rap that you think is that he think is cool, which is mumbling and saying bullshit, but you still rapping. You getting rap crowds and shit like that. Alright, well, well listen, well, listen, right. hold up. I, I feel you. I feel you with that. But just because he get rap crowds, everything he do, he be like singing. That shit, I need you. For one night, that's not rapping, yo. It's lullaby rap. Even if you want to say he rapping, he's not a lyricist. Yo, know, he rapping, huh? Then you want motherfucker take? Well, yo, he's, he's yo. These niggas be saying they're not rappers, yo. What the fuck did you go on the motherfucker XXL from um, new school shit? Why? It's for rappers. What was you on it for then? But now all of a sudden, when niggas start hearing your shit and knowing you garbage, now all of a sudden you want to claim, oh, I'm not a rapper. What, what sense does that make, yo? I mean, they Explain actually that. go on there. Like, they didn't yo, say why go not decline it? Why not decline it? Oh, I can't do that. I'm not a rapper. I do some There's old other shit. There's probably people out there that have declined it. I feel you with that. I don't well, think they should have been up there freestyling, but I blame they, Double XL for that. They shouldn't no, have been no, up no, there freestyling. No, 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 I'm talking about this, that, yeah, that Double too. But, but to do the whole sophomore class shit is for rap. 
if you're not a rapper, why do it? Why not decline and say, oh, I can't do that. I'm not a rapper. I do some old other shit. I'm not a rapper. I, I can't you, do that. You know, I don't really know. I never. I agree with you. It always been the, the hip hop class. So is, is that what, how Double XL represent that shit? I feel you though. I definitely feel you with that shit. But then all of a sudden, since niggas since niggas start seeing your shit and pull your card, oh, I'm not a rapper. These are kids though, man. That's what y'all don't understand. Yo, it don't, it, you know, there's no pass, yo. There's no, so, so they kids. So what, they, so what kind of pass do they get because they kids? Yo. What kind of pass? If I'm 19 years old trying to break into the industry, I'm not right. saying niggas is broke, but at that point, they not really making a whole lot of money. So I'm trying to make my name pop into whatever I'm doing. And Double XL asked me to be part of their rookie class or whatever they call that shit. I'm going to turn it down. Maybe older, maybe later, I could be like, you know what? That's not my thing. I don't really want to be sitting no, in there. No, but no, as 18, no, 19 no. years old, I'm going to take all no. the clout I can get. I'm trying to fuck bitches off my name. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I can't, I can't, I can't give them that, yo. Double XL is a what kind of magazine, yo? I believe it's a hip hop magazine. It's a hip hop magazine. Now, Double yeah. XL was probably watching your videos, heard some of your music, and in that, what is he doing? What is he doing? What, what, you don't what do you say want, rapping. though, yo? You don't want to say rapping. I so mean, said, okay, uh, we even if you say he rapping, so what? Somebody like this shit. So he does a double XL. Niggas see that he's garbage, for real, for real. That he's garbage. Now all of a sudden, oh, I'm the, I'm not a rapper anyway. I never consider myself a rapper anyway. Fuck that, little Uzi Vert. Oh, I'm a rock star. I'm not a. Ra You're not no fucking rock star. You the, 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 these niggas see that you really for real, for real garbage. So now all of a sudden you want to change your motherfucking lane that you went, but you came out as a rapper and shit like that. So if you say you're a rapper, you got to stand there and take the motherfucking shit that niggas giving to you. And when niggas come for you, you, you know, it is what it is. They garbage, they bullshit. That's what Yo, it is. They are really, really dude, bad rappers. No doubt in my huh? mind. When they try huh? to rap, they really, really, really bad rappers. But... They are really good at connecting to this generation. Because this this new generation is fucking lost, yo. Either way, lost or found, they're good they at connecting lost. to this generation. They lost and they thirsty and they so, their brains are soaking in bullshit. That's why you got these dumbass niggas. Like you could be Talib Kweli or you could be Jay Z. You could be Talib Kweli or you could be Yachty and Uzi Vert. These niggas well, can't get on a know. quality level. These niggas can't mentally, they can't get on a quality level, yo. Talib Kweli was never popping like this. Yo, Talib Kweli got a, a nice fan base, yo. But he was never popping like Lil Yachty popping. Talib Kweli yo, would never had a Sprite commercial. I, I think like Nicki Minaj and Drake. The only ones, I think Nicki Minaj had like the Coca Cola, the Pepsi shit, and Drake had the Sprite commercial. I don't even think it ain't too many other niggas that hit that plateau. For a march. He had the Sprite shit? Yep. For me, would I like to hear Tyler Kwali better all fucking day? But if it's working, yo, I mean, how can you tell somebody to stop doing something if it's working? When I made that video, yo, don't get it twisted. I wasn't saying that Lil Yachty can rap or none of that shit. All I was saying was, the Lord nigga don't know what he talking about. Stop getting caught up in his words. Motherfuckers want to get caught up in Lil Yachty words like he's God. Lil Yachty, he, he, Lil Yachty don't know Tupac. Lil Yachty came out and said, Soldier Boy and Lil B is in his top five. If that, if he listening to Lil B and Soldier Boy, they in his top five.
I don't consider them niggas rappers for real. What I would consider rappers, I don't consider Soldier Boy and Lil B rappers. Do Billboard or Double XL, whoever, they might, but I don't. Right. Yo, so Lil B and Soldier Boy, they your favorite. That's like saying my favorite artist in all time is Elton John. Motherfuckers say they favorite artist of all time is Elton John. And that same motherfucker say Biggie is overrated. He's supposed to feel that way. Nobody, anybody in this world that's going to put Biggie in their top three is not putting Soldier Boy or Lil B in their top 100. Right. So a nigga that's going to put Soldier Boy and Lil B in their top five, he feel a certain way about Biggie. I can see the nigga was from Brooklyn or something. Then, then the, the dude he was with, I don't know the little nigga name. That's his uh, producer. But he, but when they asked him, when he he, he explained it, he was like, "I'm um, I, I was shouted. I wasn't. I mean, they wasn't listening to no hardcore. They in there cranking soldier. You, they yuling, yo. Well, was, well, well, yo, well, yo. He should have, he should have kept it one hundred like his man did. Facts. He answered the question wrong. When he went on Twitter, and he was like, oh, you old Tim Boot West. Like, all that shit was wrong, but these niggas 19 years old probably don't even got no PR. Like, so, 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 if you say old Timberland Boot West, that means you're familiar with the era. So, if you're familiar, there's associate a, a, a shit on response with you old Tim Boot West niggas. How do you fucking know about that era, but you don't know about Biggie? You fucking dumb redhead. Stupid black ass licorice looking nigga. <laughs> licorice Lord. <lull. laughs> you're like we yo, you're like you like a piece of black and white. A piece of black licorice or a piece of red licorice with his hair, you know? The point of, you never tell me what was the point of you sending me the link. The what, point was that, you sent what was that to prove? If this nigga could spit, he never a fucking rapper. Yo, but he he's from spit. that era. He's from that era. Don't give me from that era shit. <laughs> Like I told you. The first thing you say recall. is his favorite rappers is Biggie, Pac, and Missy Ellie. All right. So when Biggie your favorite rapper, if you can rap, you gonna have some substance in your bars. When Soldier Boy your favorite rapper and Lil B your favorite rapper, the, if Soldier Boy and Lil B made a baby, it would be Lil Yachty. Well, you need to get the fuck out the lane of a rapper. Be a motherfucking mumble rapper. You need to petition it yourself. Be a mumble rapper. Where, where, where do we sign up, yo? Where do we sign up? Be a mumble rapper. One of the last of a dime three. You know where hip-hop live without the skinny jeans. That's why I walk with a different walk. Fought with a different heart. Talk with a different walk.